Hello, welcome to YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about Avionics Department in Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology. Avionics Department provides engineering education in electronics and communication related areas that is electronics, computers and navigation control guidance of rocket and space application related satellite image processing satellite control and satellite communication like that you are studying in avionics department the department provides world-class facilities and infrastructure is very rapidly coming up areas are virtual reality and 3d image processing control systems smart sensors and networking microwave circuits power electronics digital signal processing virtual instrumentation micro and nano electronics micro electromechanical systems and robotics area now we can go to avionics department labs there are analog electronics lab which are dealing with basic circuits like bjt that amplifiers mosfets switching devices linear circuits etc ecad lab the analog electronics has to implement that in some boards so designing of boards and circuit simulation etc doing in ecad lab next is digital electronics lab now the world is digital all your computers mobile phones and other accessories are digital only so digital electronics is basics of those things to extended level of processing there vlsa and microsystem you know that all the system is now very minute so in that minute area we are comprising all the things those things are doing in vlsa and micro systems so micro electronics and mechanical systems like sensors all the things are doing there next thing is rf and microwave so rf and microwave is the communication circuit radio frequency communications so there are opportunities between the earth stations and satellites and earth stations and rockets are communicating through rf so rf area there are so many processing things that are implementing in rf and microwave engineer lab then comes microprocessor microcontroller and image processing labs so microprocessors and microcontrollers are heart of any system if you are considering a low level car to a high level rocket or computers or mobile phones all are using microprocessors and microcontrollers so the basics up to extended level the image processing computer vision everything is handling there then comes control system lab so all the flights rockets the radars all the things uavs all the things that is controlling through automatic control so these control systems design and implementation and how it is working those things are doing in control lab so you know that real time control is if you are having a car you are adjusting that seat everything will be adjusted to ourselves that is called the closed loop control system those labs are provided with high end equipments to monitor and study those things power electronics lab all the satellite and rocket everything is working from on or to batteries various processes and various circuits need so many other type of voltages 
that are providing my power tones only you know that in your mobile phone charger that is connected to 230 volt supply and now we are getting output to 5 volt that is very light weighted thing this is doing by ac circuits to dc conversion this conversion to 5 volt again dc dc converters are used those things you are studying in powertronics powertronics application is enormous then comes instrumentation and measurement senses lab all the circuits or senses we have to calibrate and according to these values everything is working so the instrumentation and measurement is the major part of any system those things we are dealing with in the instrumentation and measurement lab nano satellite lab they are doing a nano satellite project details are not at all available nowadays you can search later the students are capable of doing nano satellites in iast that is a unique thing in iast then comes in dsp digital signal processing digital signal processing is your fingerprint identification mobile camera face identification everything is coming under digital signal processing so there is a lab for that then comes gas sensors lab computer networks lab communication lab etc the communication networks is communication between satellite and ground stations and the mobile communication how the mobile communication is working different things you can learn from communication and computer networks lab then comes systems and network so how the systems and networks how the networks are working wireless are working wireless control or something those things you can learn from there then comes navigation systems and sensors lab all the rockets having navigation systems so those design doing in navigation systems and sensors lab so this is the basic introduction to avionics department thank you very much for watching please subscribe our channel